In this video we're going to take a look at the Arduino and how different programming techniques can affect the amount of power that the Arduino will draw. Reducing the amount of power an Arduino can draw is critical if you're intending to run your Arduinos on battery power. The program that we have on screen here is from a project of mine where I'm creating a uh, temperature sensor that sits outside which transmits temperature readings around every eight seconds to a receiver which is in in the house. So the external module will, will definitely have to run on battery power and therefore it's important to get the power um, consumption as low as possible. So in a typical program where you're, you're doing delayed reads like this you would tip, uh, the easy way to do this is with a delay command as you can see down here. Um, so in this program just very quickly we, we set some when you set up the various program bits, we have a loop which um, reads the sensor, um, formats the message to, to send, sends the message, so that does the transmit, and then we do a delay for 8,000 milliseconds, which is 8 seconds, which effectively sleeps for 8 seconds, then it goes around and does it again. So let's just take a look at the power consumption. Uh, running this program with the delay statement. The Arduino, as you can see, is drawing 37 to 38 milliamps uh, from three AA batteries, so that's around four and a half volts. Uh, the current does spike slightly now and again, and that's as the, the Arduino is, is transmitting that temperature information. Um, but as you can sort of see, it, it's pretty flat really at around 37 to 38 milliamps. Um, doesn't the, the current draw doesn't really go down uh, while the delay statement is running, which is eight seconds and maybe half a second for a transmit. But the the difference between transmitting and delaying is is next to nothing. So here's a slightly modified version of the program using a library called low power which I'll link in below here so that's the one line of code change and the only other line we need to change is to replace the delay with this low power dot idle and that should achieve the same thing but it actually switches off all of these timers and interrupts and it has a sleep for eight seconds um, this will use the, the Arduino's internal watchdog timer to, to uh, wake the device back up and the maximum length that that can run for is 8 seconds so the maximum you can sleep is 8 seconds. So the only code changes you need to make are to include the library and replace delay with this. By using sleep via the low power library instead of delay the uh, the current draw is now just over 20, 20, 21 milliamps. And you'll see that around every 8 seconds there will be a spiking current draw. There it goes. As, um, as the temperature data is transmitted. Um, but overall, as you can see, this is, this is a lot better. So one of the downsides of using sleep over delay is that the maximum amount of time that you can sleep is just eight seconds if you want to go longer than eight seconds then you need to loop so as i've done here so i've got a loop of six times so this will do six sleeps of eight seconds before exiting the loop and then going through for another transmit so this gives me a delay of 48 seconds whilst keeping power um, down to a minimum one other downside to using sleep as opposed to delay are one of the main differences is delay leaves a lot of the background tasks running so while using sleep is a good use case in the transmit um, side of my project for the receive side it wouldn't be great because it, while the Arduino is sleeping it wouldn't um, it wouldn't notice the transmission of, of any new temperature sending so it, we just wouldn't see them in my project I've been using an Arduino 168. Now at the time I made this video the low power module had a bug which 
didn't allow you to compile against the 168. Um, in in one of the uh, issue logs, there was a, a kind of a patch, but it's never made it into the mainline code. I'll link in below a, a fixed up version I have on my uh, GitHub, so you can pull that in if you like, if you're using a 168. For all the other chipsets, the, the, the version on the main website is just fine. I'll leave some links below for the code samples, and thank you for watching.